Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Dallas Mavericks as they go up against the Memphis Grizzlies right here at FedEx Forum. Hi, everyone. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll hear from Allie LaForce in just a moment. Allie, take it away. Well, guys, the Grizzlies are an elite team, but also one of the league's youngest. John Morant said, quote, we're just getting started. Everybody's ultimate goal is to win a championship. We've just got to make sure we're laying brick by brick each day to get better. And at the end, we'll build an empire. Brian? Mm, no shortage of ambition, Allie. Thanks for that. So the opening lineup for the Mavericks. They've got Kyrie Irving. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dwight Powell. Then it's Green. And it's Doncic in at the one spot. And for Memphis... Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Brooks and Jackson, the defensive forward pair. And it's Tillman in at the five. And you know, Grant, a positive trend in this league right now. Teams would rather risk losing a game than sacrifice a player's health. Well, it's all about a player's health, B.A., when it's all said and done. A player with minor injuries are usually held out now, sometimes even against their own will. A much different situation than when I was playing many years ago. Now here's Green. And there's the whistle. The illegal That's screen green. is the call. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Moran against Doncic. Now here's Moran. Defense right on him. Oh, great D that time from Doncic. With some arc, good on the shot. When you watch Luka play, you can't forget he's 6'7". He can more than hold his own inside. Brooks outside. Outside Morant. Jackson down low. And he banks in the layup. Hustle points how just like any others that's a great play outside green here in the first a little over a minute played so far Irving the pass to green no good on the three the Grizzlies have gone one for three so far pass to Brooks over green here's Tillman and no good trying to use the glass. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. Brooks against Green. Now here's Powell. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Brooks. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. And the basket by Bain. Weaving his way through the paint. Desmond Bain flexing his way to the basket. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. Here's Powell. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. And that one's good. Green. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. For Memphis, they've gone two of six to open up this game. Here's Morant. Drilled from 11 feet out. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Here's Irving. After the basket by Memphis. Powell passes to Green. Four on the clock. Up and over Brooks. And Morant clears the board. Coaches loathe empty possessions. you got to be able to hit the easy ones. This is what I like about John ja Morant. He stays open to all options. Right there finds the open man. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. 
Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Now here's Bain. Tillman in the post. Powell covers. And yep, it's good. For Dallas, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Outside, Green. Back to Doncic. Pass to Irving. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Executing off the dribble, one of Kyrie's strongest assets. Brooks outside. Outside Morant. Shoots over Powell. And it's Memphis with another. This right here, whew, this is how you want to play the game. With passion, with energy, just great hustle play right there. Now here's Irving. What a tremendous game he played against the Lakers. That one no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Last time they met was in Dallas where they beat the Mavericks. They flat out dominated the last time these teams squared off, particularly on the glass. They generated second chance opportunities on one end, preventing them on the other end. That was the story of the game. Here's Bullock. Nine points for him in his last game. Inside. And that one's good. Green. And you like the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball. The Grizzlies have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Brooks outside. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. To the left wing. Moran against Doncic from 10 feet away. Doesn't go that time. Oh, great D that time from Powell. Doncic outside. Pass to Green. Six to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Here's Powell. Brooks with the rebound. Memphis leading. Outside Bain. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Dwight Powell. There's an aggression and a confidence to Desmond Bain's game. It helps him get to the line. And he makes a first. And with the Memphis Grizzlies, Smitty, they felt like an underdog for as long as they've been around. It seems to fuel each and every guy that plays here. B.A., they want to prove the doubters wrong. It's something that has really brought this group together. Aldama's checked in for Memphis. And he makes both free throws. And this Mavericks team, Grant... They are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. Now here's Doncic. And currently his numbers are incredible. Averaging almost 33 a game. When we talk about guards in the NBA, Kyrie is the best finisher timeout, timeout. in the paint. Memphis calls timeout. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Grant. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do. Finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade.
Jones. He's checked in for Memphis. Here's a look at some stats for Luka Doncic. Jones against Doncic. And there's the lob. Oh, a flawless finish on the lob. Saw his teammate with a path to the rim, and boom, lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. Now here's Irving. Consistent production from him, averaging around 27 and a half points a game. Unloads. Here's McGee, and McGee with the stuff. And just an incredible effort on the offensive glass. Wow, follows it up with the put back to finish the play. Here's Bain. Give him eight points now. On the wing, Brooks. Shoots over McGee. Hardaway grabs the board. The Mavericks trailing. Pass to Wood. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Now here's Bain. Here's Jackson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. He's already a skilled defender. But recently, Jaron Jackson Jr. has stepped up his game. He causes nightmares for shooters now. The first one falls. So, Smitty, what do you attribute Jackson Jr.'s defensive growth to? You know, B.A., I think a lot of it is, is his focus. He's keeping his eye on the shooters, but it's also just confident. He's more sure of himself than ever. Conchar, he's checked in for Memphis. Kennard comes in for Bain. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And so he hits both. You really get excited about Jackson's potential. The size, the agility, and the skill level to make an impact at both ends. Back to Doncic. Pass to Hardy. Here's Wood. Outside Hardaway. Just five to shoot. And here's Doncic. Oh, and Jackson with the block. In just one college year, Jaron Jackson averaged three blocks a game. He has that potential at this level. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Jones, the pass to Kennard. Back to Jones. Pass to Conchar. Let's go with a three. Connects from downtown. And the Grizzlies lead by six. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Here's Hardy. And there's the drive. Up top, McGee. It's not going to go for him. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Jones against Doncic. Outside Jones. Over Doncic. That went off the back iron and out. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Offensive board. Here's McGee. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Here's Jones. Second chance effort. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Wood outside. Hardaway on the wing. Baseline try. It's rebounded by Memphis. 
fresh off a win against the Warriors. They really relied on the perimeter game in that one. Just consistent from distance all night. We talk a lot about shot selection, and we saw why you want to avoid empty possessions. Now here's Doncic. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. There's a minute 54 left in the first. Pass to Kennard. To the middle. Here's Conchar. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. First one falls for him. And you can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of character. Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Holiday comes in for Luka Doncic. Hits both from the stripe. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Here's Hardy, defended by Jones. Pass to Holiday. A minute 35 left in the opening quarter. Hardy's shot is good. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Conchar, defended by Hardaway. Outside Jones. Pass to Conchar. The shot. Perfect night so far. Two for two. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Holiday with the ball. Defended by Kennard. Outside Hardaway. Holiday with the ball. Kleba outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Hardy. This one for three. Kennard with the rebound. Here's Conchar. Defended by Hardaway. And the powerful one-handed slam. They've played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Already ahead by double digits. Trying to run away and not look back. Now here's Holiday. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Right side, Hardaway. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. And that's as good a look as he's going to get. He's just got to shake that one off and keep it moving. Kennard can't get it to go. Holiday with the ball. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies earning this break in the action. Up 10. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. We'll be back in a moment. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. What stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. And so it's Memphis with it. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Then it's Xavier Tillman, then it's John Conchar, and it's Aldama in at the power forward position. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Now here's Holiday. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Powell. And the bucket counts, and he is Shots on good. his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Hit, shooting one. 
Well you've got stars and you've got closers. Smitty are those always the same thing. It's not B.A. Uh, there are some guys that are not stars and they can close. And there are some guys that are stars that can't close. But when you get the super super superstar he can do both. Brooks he's checked in for Conchar. And Dallas also making a switch. Bullock he's checked in for Kleba. And that one misses. Yeah, and we hear this a lot about the Grizzlies, but it bears repeating. There's probably no team in the NBA that has more reason for optimism than Memphis. Now here's Brooks. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Golden State. Five to shoot from deep, Morant. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Incredible work right there on the glass. Just doing all he can to extend that lead. Hey, once you got him on the ropes, keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. You know, I think about all the optimism surrounding the Grizzlies. The rest of the NBA has been put on notice. The NBA, and they should be. This team should be a contender for years to come. If the front office makes the right moves, which they have in the last few years, they could be hanging up some banners very soon. First free throw is good. The shooting of Desmond Bain, it's special. Knocking down threes as good as anyone in the game. Luka Doncic has checked in for the Mavericks. And Bain drops them both. The Mavericks shooting just 42% so far in the game. Doncic passes to Irving. Now here's Powell. Outside, Green. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Shooting two. Free throw good. Green. And so he makes both from the line. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Outside Bain. Pass to Aldama. Brooks outside. He's off on that one. Oh, great D that time from Powell. From deep, here's Doncic. Count it. His third and five attempts. And I know Doncic prefers a straight-on three shot, but his touch works just as well there in the corners. Outside Bain. Here's Moran. Here's Aldama. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And the Grizzlies lead by nine. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. 
Ryan, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives him a chance to do just that, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Brooks. Pass to Aldama. Shoots over Powell. Second chance shot. To the left side wing. Here's Aldama. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. Tries yet again. And Bain finishes inside. Bain's got four points in the quarter. And hey, you have to appreciate the heart time they've out, shown on out. the offensive boards this quarter. Dallas calls timeout. Coming into this, having notched to win against the Lakers in their last game. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home. Except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside, Green. Pass to Powell. Lots of room. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. Now Bain. He's guarded by Irving. Inside. Outside for Moran. Here's Aldama. Shot clock at five. Back to Moran. Launches it. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got rebound number seven tonight. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Looking to get it going. And the layup by Moran. Moran's got six points. Look how Ja just glides through the contact. He's such a nimble player. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Pass to Bullock. Now here's Doncic. Hounded by Moran. Fires the three. Doncic, no good. Memphis has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And that one's good. Moran. Morant's got four points this quarter. Challenging the heart of the defense. John Morant can beat you with the pass or the shot. Back to Doncic. Irving, the pass to Powell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Desmond Bain. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Memphis. What they've done is they've looked to push the pace and transition early, and it's paid dividends with their fast break points. And another area of strength has been their offensive rebounding, converting a lot of those second chances. That one falls for Powell. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Williams has checked in for Aldama. And so Powell nails them both. 
After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. Outside, Williams. Pass to Brooks. Outside, Bain. Back to Brooks. The three ball. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. McGee, he's checked in for Bullock. Dallas has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Irving, the pass to McGee. Now Powell. Outside Irving. Doncic outside. Shot clock at six. And that one's good. Doncic has got nine. As always, Doncic attracts a lot of attention. Makes a lot of tough shots with hands in his face. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league. And that shows up most with his passing and body control. Now here's Brooks. Pass to Williams. Fires for three. That one is off. And it's Dallas the other way. And here's Doncic. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Here's Moran. It falls. Five for 11 in the game. A player who's aware of everything around him. Brooks sees the man break open and hits him. The Mavericks have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Pass to Green. Poke loose. Powell passes to Green. Outside Irving. There's the three. And Morant clears the board. For Memphis, they've gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Williams. Mavericks with a rebound. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Puts up the eight-footer. And the shot's good. Six points for him. Tremendous form on the jump shot. One of the reasons Kyrie's so consistent with it. Doncic against Williams. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Doncic is doubled. Outside for Green. Back to Doncic. Outside, Green. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Brooks. Conchar comes in for Desmond Bain. And it's Jones in for Moran. And both free throws good for Green. Memphis leading. Pass to Conchar. Back to Jones. And no good. Ooh, good D by Irving. The Mavericks have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Now Green. Back to Irving. 
And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Irving's got eight points. It's amazing how Kyrie can take contact, contort his body, and complete the play. Back to Jones. Pass to Conchar. Clock at six. And here is Williams. Jacks up a three. They get it back. And the basket by Tillman. Six points for him. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Outside Hardaway. Here's Green. Pass to Wood. Outside Hardaway. Kleba against Jackson. With the fadeaway. Here's Hardaway. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanting to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Now here's Jones. 13 points in the win against Golden State. And more impressive to me than his scoring was his playmaking. Really an all-around offensive clinic. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Green against Williams. Right side Irving. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Conchar. Jones against Irving. On the wing, Jones. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Conchar. Green covering. Conchar, good. And the Grizzlies lead by seven. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Hardaway, the pass to Wood. Green with the ball. He's picked up by Jones. Outside Irving. From outside the arc. Knocks down the long J. Irving's got nine points in the quarter. End of quarter management here. They can go two for one. Make the math work in your favor. Jones, the pass to Jackson. Here's Conchar. Green covering. Pass to Tillman. Some solid D from Wood. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Here's Irving. Deflected. Now here's Jackson on the wing. Jones. He can't get that one to fall. Ja Moran. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Grizzlies. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm joined with Coach Taylor Jenkins. What's the focus as you look forward to the second half? Just ignite our pace. You know, everything starts with our defense. Can we pick up our activity? We've got to get some stops. We've got to keep them off the free throw line. We've got to get out and run. They're showing a great crowd in the paint, but just trust the pass. Everyone's got to trust each other, get multiple actions, get some good looks, and hopefully they'll fall for us. High expectations for Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. There was no stopping John Morant in the first half. He had 12 points, two rebounds, and one steal. Kenny, what was your take on Memphis? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possessions. And check this out. Sometimes just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball game. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? They were really efficient. Great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they've been so far. And that's all we have for now. 
Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. What makes him an exciting player is the ultra-aggressive mindset that we saw over and over in the first half. And not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half, we've got Josh Green. Luka Doncic is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's Dwight Powell, and it's Bullock in at the four slot. Just a real solid all-around player. Brooks that time drawing the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. What makes Dylan Brooks especially valuable to a team. He's a competitor who you can count on to produce in the clutch. He does not get the second one. The Mavericks trailing. Here's Green. And he lays it up and in. Green's got 10 points in the game. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big time play. Brooks outside. Pass to Bain. Can't hit that one. Ooh, good D by Irving. Grizzlies with the rebound. Tillman's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. And here's Memphis. Now here's Moran. Pass to Tillman. Back to Moran. And here's Brooks. And here's Bain. He's guarded by Irving. Goes up at the strike. That one's wide left. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Powell's shot is off. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. They've been unable to hit anything this half. Three attempts and three misses. They get the rebound. Green. The shot, no good. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. And so it's Dallas with it, following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Here's Doncic. And the lamp is good off the glass. Doncic has got 11. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Moran finds Bain. Here's Jackson. Basket counts. He's got six. So active inside, and with that big frame, Jackson has no trouble finishing through contact. Doncic against Moran. Outside, Green. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. For Memphis, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And it's hammered home by Green. A creative playmaker. I love when Kyrie zips it to his teammates. 
pass to Tillman. Good, and the setup by Morant. Morant's got three assists now in this one. I mean, he's hard to stop once he gets to the rim. That's a beautiful play. Now here's Green. Takes a three. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Brooks outside. Outside Morant. And Jackson gets double teamed. Outside Bain. Six to shoot. It's rebounded by Dallas. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Here's Doncic. Another one falls for Dallas. And just such an accurate shooter. I mean, give Luka any room to get his shot off, and he'll take it. Timeout time call. Time Memphis. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Aldama's checked in for Tillman. And it's Kennard in for Brooks. Holiday's checked in for the Mavericks. Hardy comes in for Kyrie Irving. Now here's Jackson. Six points for him. And Morant with the basket on the assist from Jackson. Morant's got 14. They have no answer defensively inside. Powell outside. Doncic against Moran. Outside Holiday. Again, Dallas. Well-coordinated play. I like how Holiday is taken to his role on this team. Moran, the pass to Bain. Here's Aldama. Back to Bain. He's got it. Six of ten now. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Pass to Hardy. Holiday with the ball. Here's Bullock. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And it's good. Two points. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. Kennard on the wing. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Morant. Got it again. That makes him 8 for 15 for the night. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Outside Holiday. Pass to Hardy. Six on the shot clock. Tipped. Another shot. Great D that time from Bain. Kennard outside. Outside Morant. Pass to Bain. Here's the three. Good. And the setup by Morant. 
And now a five-point Grizzly lead. Impressive accuracy of Desmond Bain. He has put in the work to be a reliable three-point option. Holiday finds Powell. Shoots over Jackson. The shot no good. And it's Memphis the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. To the inside, Morant. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. High effort, fast break plays. They have been very effective for them in this game. Generating a lot of points for them. Also, guys, they put in maximum effort on the Find offensive the glass. The Great lane. determination to follow One shots shot. and not giving up on the possessions. And Morant, no good on that one. As young as John ja Morant is, I'm impressed. He came in ready to lead a team. And these guys, they follow him. Now here's Doncic. He's got 15 over Jones. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Morant, the pass to Kennard. Now Morant, 20 points for him. Pass to Jones, lets it go. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. McGee's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Hardaway, uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's now only a five-point Memphis lead. All about the team, Justin Holiday looking for the open man and finding him. Kennard against Hardaway. Down low. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. And adds a few more points to their lead. Showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time, time, time stuff out. right there. Timeout called. The Mavericks. Jones against Doncic. Outside Hardaway. Holiday against Moran. Five on the clock. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Kennard against Hardaway. Kennard can't get it to go. Dallas has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And they'll get another chance. The rebound by Jackson. Memphis leading. Here's Morant. And he battles for the ball, gets the second chance bucket. Morant's got 22 points. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Back to Doncic. On the wing, Holiday. Oh. 
and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Ja Morant picks one up. And following a real solid free throw shooter, Justin being more aggressive now, which means more trips to the stripe. Can't get the first one. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Conchar's checked in. And he's good on the second. The Grizzlies shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Outside Jones. Back to Morant. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. I'll tell you what, Ja Morant just keeps coming at the defense. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. So he can't get either to fall. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got eight. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Jones against Doncic. Wood outside. On the wing, Holiday. Pass to Doncic. Just five on the clock. 14 feet away. Drained it for two points. Doncic has got eight points in the quarter. Defense was all over Doncic. So he smartly uses a pick to get free to shoot. Jones up top. Here's Aldama, covered by McGee. Good work there as it goes. He's got six. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Holiday. A minute 37 left in the third quarter. Off target from outside. Holiday's gone one for four from the field. Holiday against Moran. Over Holiday. Wood grabs the board. Dallas is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And he makes a first. Williams is checked in for Memphis. Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Kyrie Irving comes in for Luka Doncic. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. Kleba finds Hardaway, launches a three. No good on the shot. Now Memphis takes it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. That one goes. Count it. And the Grizzlies lead by 11. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Now here's Hardaway doing some damage on the offensive end, putting up a little over 14 points a game. The three from Wood. 
And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. 35 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Pass to Williams. Here's Aldama, guarded by Wood. Here's Aldama. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got four rebounds in the game. On the wing, Holiday. Williams defending. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. The three. The offensive rebound. Jackson uses the glass on the layup. Jackson's got 10 points in the game. What you know you love about Jaron Jackson is the length, the instincts. He has a natural feel for the game. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Grizzlies. They lead by 13. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. All right, let's listen in. Head coach Jason Kidd is mic'd up. Contest two, right? We'll contest two and contest three, but don't lay up. And Jason Kidd feeling like they need to protect the rim above all else, willing to give in on other areas. Well, you have to take care of home base. Otherwise, it's going to be attacked all night, and that's not going to reflect well for you on the scoreboard. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Bain and Brooks out on the wing. Xavier Tillman is out there with Jackson. And it's Jones in at the one. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Now here's Bain. Pass to Brooks. Three-pointer. Bain, no good. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. The shot's good. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. Here's Jones following the score by Dallas. Pass to Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. Using his post moves to get the two points. And the Grizzlies lead by 11. Right there on that play, Jackson showed the nice touch and his ability to finish around the rim. It's Bullock on the wing. Brooks against Green. Three-pointer. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Tillman's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big-time effort. And it's Brooks missing. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Inside. Stolen by Jackson. Brooks outside. And he can't get that one. And it's Dallas the other way. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Outside Irving. And he's going for the oop here. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Jones. Shoots over Powell. Jones misses. The Mavericks have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Outside, Green. It's Powell on the wing. Oh, he misses the reverse. The Grizzlies have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. And it's Brooks missing. His offensive output just isn't fair tonight, but his teammates have found a way to pick up a slack. Irving, the pass to Hardaway. Back to Irving. A shot to stop the drought. Dallas again missing. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line.
shooting two. The free throw drops for Bain. Ja Morant, he's checked in for Jones. And Dallas with a change here, too. Luka Doncic is checked in for Hardaway. And Bain drops them both. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And Dallas calls time here. Coach is not happy with their effort on the defensive glass. They're giving up way too many second chance points. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Jason Kidd had some words for his team over the break. It wasn't feel-good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. Okay, thanks, Allie. With elite passing skills and court vision, Donchitz is an advanced distributor for his age. And the dunk by Jackson. Putting that 7-4 wingspan to good use. Jaron Jackson with the easy catch and flush. Green finds Doncic. Now Irving. Green with the ball. Brooks defending. Here's Powell. The Grizzlies pull it in. Tillman's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after Foul. him. Two. Shooting two. That one's off. And the second free throw is good. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Powell, left side. Outside Irving. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got 11 rebounds in the game. Morant, the pass to Brooks. Outside Bain. Now here's Morant, guarded by Doncic. Pass to Tillman. Clock at six. From deep, Morant. Bullock puts it in. The Mavericks have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Irving. And the shot goes in. 
Irving's gotten four this quarter. On offense, Kyrie Irving is so crafty. He keeps finding ways to get around the deep. Outside Morant. Brooks outside. Steps back and shoots. Here's Jackson. Soft touch off the glass. And the Grizzlies lead by 14. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. Left side green. Irving against Bain. Pass to Doncic. Outside Irving. Over Bain. Second chance effort. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Falls for Powell. Second free throw, no good. With missed opportunities from the line this half, they're not doing themselves any favors. Brooks outside. Pass to Tillman. Mavericks with a rebound. Here's Irving. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Dylan Brooks. One of the game's more interesting personalities. Kyrie Irving wants to win at all costs. Two, two. That free throw misses. And attention has been given to the interactions between fans and the players. Smitty, sometimes it feels more chippy than in years past. I totally agree, B.A., and I think what happens is fan interaction is getting way out of hand. They have to understand it's just a game. It's getting too personal. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. Rare sight. How often does he fail to capitalize at the line? Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. He's got five points now in the quarter. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Doncic passes to Green. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Tipped away, and it goes out of bounds. That one off Green. Dallas on D. They trail by 16. Brooks outside. Beyond the arc. And after just a fantastic first half, he's really having trouble finding that shooting stroke. Bullock. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First free throw is good. Yeah. 
And he makes the first, but misses the second. And when you look at this second half, missed free throws stick out. It's hard to keep pace that way. Dallas has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Green, the pass to Powell. Doncic on the wing. Good! He's been great in this one. 9 for 15 after that shot. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Morant, the pass to Bain. On the wing, Brooks. Green covering. Goes back up. Tillman misses. For Dallas, they've gotten 5 of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. And it's Irving missing. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Who's Doncic against Bain. Outside Morant. Tries it from 16. Mavericks with a rebound. Green's got six rebounds in the game. And they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Outside, Green. Back to Irving. Fires the three. Brooks with the rebound. Brooks has got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Moran. Back to Brooks. Moran finds Jackson. Jackson drawing the double team. Shot clock at six. Here's Moran. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Green's got his sixth rebound on the night. Doncic passes to Irving. Doncic outside. Bain against Irving. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. That's been the difference tonight. They've been insanely disruptive on the glass. Memphis has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Irving against Bain. Here's Brooks. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Grizzlies lead by 15. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense time out, time perfectly. Out. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. And there was absolutely nothing they could do to slow him down in this one. It seemed like every shot he put up went in. <laughs> and his teammates responded smartly by continuing to feed him all night. So it's the Mavericks now. 15-point game. Green, the pass to Doncic. Free throw line jumper. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's, well, the Grizzlies shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. And there's Bain. That one's good. The assist by Moran. Bain's got 14 points here in the second half. Pass to Green. Back to Irving. 151 left in the fourth. And here's Doncic outside. Drops in the three. Doncic has got five points in the quarter. Because opponents have to respect his passing so much, a lot of times the three-pointer is there for Doncic if he wants it. Brooks outside. Outside Bain. Shot clock at five. 
Pass to Moran. From the arc. That shot missing. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Now Irving, pounded by Moran. And it's Irving missing. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong. Yet, opposite happened. Brooks outside. Here's Bain. Outside for Moran. They grab their own miss. Jackson gets the bucket. And the Grizzlies lead by 16. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Grizzlies. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seized full control of this game. <laughs> B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And this result tonight, it gets them to 44 wins on the year. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Jaron Jackson. And you have to love how he controlled the key, piling up blocks and putting fear into opposing shooters. Attack mode right there. He plays bigger than his size. The Grizzlies pull it in. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. And so it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. See you again soon. Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor. But is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active, just being able to move my feet, being able to stay low on defense, you know, all those things keep you engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working with everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Jaron. Congrats on your success. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you later.